The Whiskey Tribe is one of my favorite YouTube whiskey channels. So when they offered this janky 12 days of Texas whiskey box, I bought it immediately. I couldn't resist. And I'm just starting. This is day one. Let's do this. Welcome to Whiskey Riffs. If you're new here, I'm Kevin, and I have a 12 day, actually gonna be a 13 day, cause I'll do a wrap up video. 12 days of videos plus a wrap up for this Whiskey uh, Tribe 12 days of Texas whiskey tasting box. Now they did a great job of packaging these in the fact that they are in a box and they did make it to me. They're a little later than they promised, but weather and other conditions. And the fact that they even put this together is incredible because I haven't shipped a dang thing from my whiskey channel. So good job, guys. I appreciate the box, no matter how janky. Now, one of the reasons it's kind of janky is uh, unlike an advent calendar, the bottles aren't named. And the bottom of the box has an order of the whiskeys, but they're not really in the same order when you look at the box from the top. So I'll just go in this order and pull the first one out. They are heavily labeled with the different distilleries and the types of whiskey, so there's no blind tasting going on here. And I have the first bottle out, which is wrong because that would be the bottle that I would expect to be in the top left. <laughs> okay. Now I have the first bottle out. There we go. Iron Root, Republic Distillery, straight corn whiskey. All right, put this box out of the way. Janky damn thing. Let me get a glass. Yes, okay. So Iron Root, Republic Distillery, the straight corn whiskey. These are 50 milliliter bottles. And from what I could see, they all are 50% ABV on the box. Oh my God, they're not the same here. That's janky. <laughs> the box says they're all 50%. I was going, wow, that's amazing. They got them all at 50%. No, so <laughs> this makes more sense. So this is 133.7 proof or 66.85% alcohol by volume. And uh, that's because they asked 12 different Texas distilleries to send them a barrel and they are basically bottling 50 milliliters from each of those Texas distilleries at whatever ABV is in the barrel. Thanks for confusing me with what's on the box, uh, Daniel and Rex. Let me go ahead and pour this so we can actually have it breathe for a minute or two while I talk about them a little bit. Now, if you're not familiar with the Whiskey Tribe or their original channel, the Whiskey Vault, they're in Austin and they are a uh, originally a whiskey marketing uh, marketing company that used whiskey as their marketing. That's what the Whiskey Vault is. And the Whiskey Tribe was a, uh, a more independent channel that could do crazier things and actually start a distillery. So they have a distillery, the Crowded Barrel Whiskey Company. And because they are they are now a Texas distillery, they wanted to honor other Texas distilleries. And that was the reasoning for this box of 12 different Texas whiskeys. And the reason I love both of their channels is because they're one of the main reasons that five years ago, maybe even six years ago, that I got into whiskey more heavily. Their reviews of different whiskeys, they had daily reviews of five days a week of different types of whiskey. And as they grew, they had people sending them whiskey. So they even had more diversity in their choice of whiskeys which was really impressive to me. I learned so much from them. So thank you, Rex and Daniel, for uh, getting me started. In fact, if I hadn't been watching their channel and how entertaining they were with the whole whiskey review process, I would never have started Whiskey Riffs. So I owe this channel to you guys, and I appreciate it. Also, as of this recording, uh, they're still selling these boxes. They have a few available. So if you go to their website, the uh, Crowded Barrel Whiskey Company, uh, I have a link in the description and you could probably pick up a bottle. Uh, they sell it a few different ways. Uh, I got mine through Shared Pour. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to either of their channels yet, I highly recommend you do so. So on to the whiskey. Now this is Iron Root, which I've had some of their whiskey before. I don't know which one I've had. <laughs> I do know I've had some of their whiskey. I do know I've seen them at the whiskey shows that have been around. This is a straight corn whiskey 
and a straight whiskey in the American Whiskey Association's definition is a whiskey that has been aged for at least two years in a charred new oak barrel and it is a fermented grain. Uh, this is corn obviously on this one at 66.85% uh, ABV. And yes, it does smell like a corn whiskey. It's got that sweetness that corn always gives me on whiskey. I'm getting buttery notes. I'm getting the caramel and the, and the kind of a molasses sweetness. And surprisingly enough, I'm not getting any alcohol burn on the nose. It's a little bit of a orange citrus note and vanilla. Lots of vanilla on this one. One of the standard notes for me on a, on a new oak barrel is vanilla. So that makes a whole lot of sense. There's the burn. Woo. Okay. Yeah. That is 66.85% ABV, which is going to make it hard to pull out any other notes because right now I'm just tasting the fire. The Texas burn. Now I did live with my wife and kids in Texas for 29 years and I know what kind of uh, heat that the state has, which is always going to affect these whiskeys that were aged in oak barrels in that kind of temperature, especially if it's in one of the areas of Texas that has more extreme temperatures where you're going from very hot to very cold. That kind of push and pull of the alcohol in and out of the grains of the cask really make a difference in color and certainly in flavors too. I'm almost getting a candied sweetness from this. It's a nice long finish and there's a um, kind of a molasses linger in my mouth. I'm definitely gonna throw a little water in these because they are so high proof when you're at cast strength. You need to sometimes tone it down or at least break it up a little bit. See how this works. I'm getting a little leathery note now and some more vegetal notes. Still a ton of burn though. Not much um, seeping through that high ABV. And I love cast drink whiskey, so it's very strange to go into this thinking, I'm gonna be able to do some detailed tasting notes. Not getting a lot out of it. Now after dropping it down by two milliliters of water, I am getting some, some peppermint notes on it. And a lot of molasses sweetness is, is going away for me. And the corn sweetness now is coming through on the finish for me. So do I like the iron root at cast strength? You know, it's an experience. I don't know if I love it. I think it's uh, interesting to have this high a proof of whiskey. Uh, the last time I had something, I think the last time I had something that was this high was a Booker's bourbon. And those were always ranging in the 65 to 67 range for ABV. So those were always a uh, heavy burn, but I really enjoyed Kind of the flavor profile of those. I'm just having trouble with this one for some reason. It's not giving me a lot of flavors other than the corn notes, which are pretty dominant. Well, I think that'll do it for day one. If you're enjoying these 12 days of Texas whiskey uh, videos, go ahead and give me a like on them, please. And uh, tell all your friends about them. Until tomorrow, take care of yourself, take care of those people around you, and cheers. <laughs>